Hello everyone, my name is Jason Mogan and I'm an admissions officer for Columbia Undergraduate Admissions. This video reviews the core curriculum, the hallmark of a Columbia undergraduate education. The core curriculum is the foundational general education requirement for all Columbia College and Columbia Engineering students. It's a series of named courses and general requirements that are completed throughout the duration of the four years of an undergraduate's academic career. The core curriculum celebrated its centennial in 2019. It is the oldest singular curriculum in the United States. There are four distinct features of a core curriculum class. First, students are asked to engage with primary sources. Undergraduates have the opportunity to form their own opinions, do their own analyses, and form their own arguments around primary sources that are put in front of them without the influence of existing scholarly research or interpretation. This works in tandem with a second hallmark of a core curriculum class. It is grounded in small discussion-based work. We center conversation in core curriculum classrooms where students can share those opinions, perspectives, and interpretations, and also gain those different perspectives and worldviews from their peers, allowing them to broaden their own worldviews, their own perspectives, and have that critical eye when looking at future work. Another feature of a core curriculum class is that it is simultaneously non-disciplinary and interdisciplinary. All of the core curriculum classes focus on delving into the human condition, asking big picture questions that don't necessarily have straightforward answers. This work can happen across disciplines. If you're taking a course like Literature Humanities, also known as the Masterpieces of Western Literature, your faculty member might not necessarily be from the English department. They could be housed under the philosophy department, Slavic studies, French, anthropology, or another field and provide their own unique perspective when they are guiding discussion in the classroom. The same is true for the students within each class. Students are not broken out into sections based on their major or intended major. We intentionally put students together from across disciplines so that they can provide their own academic perspectives on the work being studied. You can be learning alongside a dancer, an anthropologist, a physicist, a civil engineer, and each student has the capacity to bring their own unique perspective to the work at hand because of the particular academic lens and interests that they have. A final distinguishing feature of a core curriculum class is a communal sense of learning. All Columbia College students and Columbia Engineering students shared the experience of going through the core curriculum, and it defines very much of what it means to be a Columbia undergraduate. The same is true for our alumni community, who graduate from Columbia College and Columbia Engineering. They too have gone through the core curriculum. Alum from the past 100 years have experienced the core in some iteration, and it allows for undergraduates to better connect with alumni all around the world who have this shared academic experience. Many of these classes also have a temporal component to them. For example, Literature Humanities is taken by all first-year students in Columbia College in their first year. Even though classes are small, discussion-based courses of 20 students or fewer, the entirety of the first year Columbia College class has the experience of reading the same texts at the same time, of studying together, of having discussions and debates in dining halls and residence hall lounges and on the steps of Lowe Library around the texts that they read in their Literature Humanities course. The core curriculum is composed of the classes and the requirements. The classes is a series of named courses that are grounded in primary sources from the Western canon. These courses include Literature Humanities, or the Masterpieces of Western Literature, where students read from Homer's Iliad through Toni Morrison's Song of Solomon. They ask questions about the influence of wordplay and literature in broader society in individual versus familial action, whether or not there is the existence of fate or if we have free will. In university writing, students learn how to digest evidence from primary sources and formulate their own arguments and opinions. These are groups of 15 students led by a moderator who have the opportunity to workshop essays to learn how to write cohesive and concise and persuasive arguments. 
Within Frontiers of Science, students have the opportunity to learn from four distinguished faculty members within the sciences at Columbia University. After attending a weekly large lecture, groups are broken up into small discussion groups of 20 students or fewer where they have the opportunity to engage with how questions involving the scientific field or influencing society at large, understand how to use that scientific mindset when approaching a problem. Contemporary Civilization is also one of the named courses for the core curriculum. This was that initial seminal course that was previously called Peace Issues back in 1919. This is an amalgamation of philosophy, economics, religion, political science, and history that ranges from the classics, from ancient Greece and Rome, all the way through to uh, Simone de Beauvoir and W.E.B. Du Bois. The final two courses are Music Humanities and Art Humanities. They are each a semester, and they engage with New York City by asking students to visit museums like the Museum of Modern Art or the Metropolitan Museum of Art to attend concerts at Lincoln Center, Carnegie Hall, and other concert halls throughout New York City, and understand what it means to produce good art and good music, what defines these works as masterpieces, how to interpret them, understand their historical and societal, and societal context, and how to appreciate these works as well. Though there are a significant number of courses and requirements that students must complete as part of the core curriculum, there's still plenty of flexibility within and beyond the core curriculum. Students can choose the courses that they take to complete those requirements within the core curriculum, giving them the opportunity to pursue a number of electives as part of the core. Many students find that through the core curriculum, they had the opportunity to pursue a number of different disciplines that they might not have considered when entering college, whether it's through one of the named courses that they have to take or through one of the requirements that they must complete. Also, at no point are students expected to only take core curriculum courses in any given year. Even as early as your first year on campus, students have the ability to take electives so that they can pursue any number of majors or concentrations that they would like when they declare their major their sophomore year. Both Columbia College and Columbia Engineering undergraduates participate in the core curriculum, but there are some distinctions between how each school pursues completing these requirements. Within Columbia College, students are expected to complete all of the classes and the requirements, which amounts to about a third of their education. Students will take Literature Humanities, University Writing, and Frontiers of Science in their first year as Columbia College students. In their second year, they'll be pre-assigned to Contemporary Civilization courses. For the rest of the requirements in the classes, students can choose when they want to complete these different requirements. Columbia Engineering students take a modified version of the core curriculum that amounts to about a fourth of their education. The core curriculum is the defining feature of a Columbia undergraduate education. Students and alumni alike develop the creative and critical intellectual capacity in pursuit of meaningful and productive lives through the core curriculum courses they take as undergraduates. When students complete the core curriculum, they leave transformed. They gain the ability to create their own interpretations of evidence that's put forth in front of them. They have the ability to question the world, to have a critical eye, and ask why society exists in the way it does, why individuals' behaviors are enacted the way they are. And they also develop a sense of community. As the core is over 100 years old, students can connect with both their peers on campus and alumni who have gone through the core for the past 100 years. Students will find that all around the world, there are alumni from Columbia College and Columbia Engineering who have delved deep into the human condition through their core curriculum courses, who have read the same texts, listened to the same music, reviewed the same artwork, and it provides them an opportunity to bond with one another, even if they didn't attend the school at the same time. Mm -hmm.